Hi guys, welcome to Harry Makes It Up. Today I'm going to do a red lip, something I often have to do for red carpet, um, and it's a look that can suit everyone, it's just about knowing the right shade. I'm going to do another video at a later date as well regarding what shades suit best for different skins in terms of different red lipsticks, um, but first I'm just going to show you how to do the perfect red lip, and I'm going to do a matte lip and a glossy one. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is actually make what I call a milk moustache, okay? This is the first trick to getting a really clean lip. So I've done my base, obviously I've got an eye on already, um, and brows, just because we're just focusing on the lip today. And I'm going to take a Shiseido um, concealer pencil. This one is in, hopefully you can see the, probably not actually on my hair. Um, this is 01, and I'm just going to draw a milk moustache. It'll look very funny, um, but I'll explain more as we go along. But this is your initial step. So just over, so I'm just going to go over my top lip, all the way along so it's going to look quite dramatic and comical and a little bit up towards the nose and then you can do a little bit either side just to clean the skin so you get it really and this is how I do a red lip when I do artists okay so that looks very funny then taking your concealer brush I'm just going to blend that all in Okay, so now my moustache has gone and it's just blended into a really nice highlight. Um, so I'm going to start drawing around my lips with a liner and I'm going to start with MAC Cherry Pencil, which is a tried and tested favourite of mine and it just works brilliantly on everyone's skin. Make sure you start with it sharpened as well so you can draw a nice precise line. Um, and I'm just going to start drawing a bit of a line and filling in as I go so I can see the shape. And if you start from middle and then work outwards to balance both sides, in between just smile and you'll be able to see the lips when they're tighter you can see the shape much more easily, okay? And I'm going to go over the top of my lip line so I get a really full, lovely red lip. I like to think of the lips as the shape M, so if you think about it like this, you want to think whether you want to go triangular, or maybe you want to go really rounded, or just straight and kind of like a really curvaceous lip. So think about the shape you want to create, and then use your pencil to start mimicking that. And then what I do is I fill in as I go along, because I find it's easier to see what the shape of the lip's going to look like as you fill in a bit of colour. And then I draw the bottom, and then I go around the side so I can join it all up. So then what you can do is you can start doing your lip and then go back in again later with your lip line if you want to adjust the shape slightly or you realise you can go a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go over. My M a little bit more. So we'll call it the M, this part here. Just go. And then I take the line a bit thicker around the inside. use a sure mirror brush this is my top secret weapon to doing perfect lips I don't know if you can see I'll do a zoom in um, the shape of the brush has a curve on it so it's the perfect shape for if you lean it here you can go like this if you want to go from the inside of the lips you just turn it on its slant and you can just trace perfect shapes with it. So I find this brush, this is the Shua Mura, um 7H Kalinsky it's just a fabulous lip brush it really is wonderful so I'm just going to blend the lip line in a bit so I can see my shape easier. Yeah. Using my MAC palette in six editorial reds, I'm going to use Ruby Woo, the classic, and do a nice solid matte lip all over. So just coat it with the brush. It's very dry, this lipstick, so you want to put a bit of um, prep your lips with some eight hour cream or a lip balm first. And when it comes to really dry matte lipstick, that's when you need to smile so you can tighten the lip area for an easier glide on. And what that line's created now, where you did the milk moustache first, is just a really crisp outline, okay? Now 
Make sure that it all joins up as well when you do this. So you can see the inner corner. Just keep checking your shape in the mirror as well. And if you smile, you can see how much higher you can go with your top lip. You just want to balance the top and the bottom lip together. Okay, so they have a really perfect crisp matte red lip. So I'll just do a screenshot for you. So if you wanted to make this a glossy lip, still really lovely red carpet, uber glamorous, um, I would go to make it glossy. My favorite thing at the minute is by Yves Saint Laurent and it is the uh, Glossy Stain in, this color is number six, which is the red. I find these so long lasting, um, even if you're drinking and eating, they don't come off, and the stain is really beautiful. It's like a very expensive looking gloss, um, and it just looks really luxurious. So I'm gonna add that to the top of my lip now to show you how you can quickly add one product and turn this into a glossy red lip. So I'm just gonna use it straight from the bullet. It has like a little heart-shaped applicator, and I'm just gonna go over the top of what I've already done and then use my lip brush just to kind of blend it in where I need to. So using my shape again, I'm just going to start in the middle. It smells amazing, this as well. And this is where it's nice when you've drawn over your lip now. You can use that shape to get the light reflection. This really makes me think of kind of a Dolce & Gabbana lip, that very beautiful Italian, really sultry diva. So that's with one coat, and I'm just gonna add a bit more gloss to the middle of the lip so it looks really beautiful and high shine. up into the cupid's bow and in the center of the bottom lip you can use your lip brush just to go in and move it around wherever you need to i'm just going to use a little bit of powder to set around the lip keep the sheen where you want it And that's the finished look guys, so I hope you like that's with the glossy lip on top, so you can have it either way, whether you like a glossy lip or a matte lip, um, or if you wanted just to make your normal uh, matte lip glossy, you can just put some Vaseline or a lip balm on top if you want a kind of medium machine, but this is a nice high octane shine, so I hope you like.